Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sweet Kitchen Skills and today broken hearts. Look. A broken heart for Valentine. Welcome to Sweet Kitchen Skills. To make these hearts, we need a heart mold. I put a link in the description. And we also need a different mold. I bought this one. Also, I will put a link in the description. This is a special mold. And this mold comes with a silicone mold inside. So you can put an inner layer. But this silicone mold, which is heart shaped, I will use for my caramel fudge. So let's start to make the caramel fudge. So it's actually quite easy. Uh, you need some condensed milk. I bought the ready version. You can make it yourself if you want. You need a lot of sugar. I put some cane sugar uh, inside. Put some milk or oat milk if you, if, you, if you like. And you need some butter. And of course the recipe is in the description. Very important. You need a silicone scraper because this mass burns like hell. And I mean, if you stop uh, steering in your pot for two minutes, it will burn. Never stop steering at the bottom of your pan and uh, boil it at a medium heat. You need to boil it until 120 degree. And I will, I will put in the description what that is in Fahrenheit. It must be about 250 or something. Yeah, that's it. So put all the ingredients in the pot, start boiling and boil it to 120 degrees. The wet cloth underneath and hopefully it will not break. Oh, I hate this. Because now we need to whisk. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. To be honest, I'm not even sure if that it's important to whisk. You can actually just use the mask. Just be careful, it's hot. This is hot, guys. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry, I'm swearing. Afterwards, I will use a palette knife to make it nice and even. Right, so. Small, beautiful fudge hearts. Actually, it's much easier like this, look. Just use the palm of your hand. That's, that's actually a better idea. See? Learning by doing. I left the fudge hearts on the table at 20 degree until I used them. Let's just very shortly talk about tempering. So the next thing we are going to do, or what I'm going to do, is to paint these uh, heart shaped molds with red cocoa butter and of course it's tempered cocoa butter the molds are at about yeah 18 20 degree cold that means the cocoa butter will set uh, quite fast uh, they should not be warmer than this because then the cocoa butter will not set so it will work against you if you would temper your cocoa butter your uh, bonbons will also be more shiny. You don't need to temper, you can use the cocoa butter as it is. It will contract and make the bonbons shiny, but tempered cocoa butter, more shiny, a higher melting temperature of your bonbons. That's why you temper. So, I made this cocoa butter myself. I used 100 grams of good quality cocoa butter, which I bought from Calabot. Uh, this one is called Mucrio, uh, and then I added 10 to 11 percent of fat soluble red 
powder color. Very important, it's fat soluble. So I used that one and again, the link is in the description where you can buy it. And you heat this cocoa butter to 45, 50 degree, put the powder inside, give it a blend. If you want to sp use a spray gun, you have to sift it. It's very, very important. Very, very fine mesh sift, even maybe a paper cloth. But I don't need to spray it. I will use a, a brush. This one is very soft, very important. I also have my heat gun close by if the cocoa butter gets too cold. And then I'm ready to go. I just temper my cocoa butter. It is 45 degree. I will cool it to 26, 27 degree and heat it a little bit again up to 29 degree, just about that. And then I will start painting. I also could use this cocoa butter at 26 degree, but it will set very fast. That's the reason why I heat it a little bit more. Now everything is ready. Cocoa butter is tempered. I have my brush. I have the molds. And I just start painting them. Guys, I have to hurry up, so I will try to make it fast. I have to do it twice because uh, the first uh, paint will not uh, cover the mold 100%. You can see that here. So I will brush twice. If I had an airbrush, it would be much easier. Well, I have one, but not everybody at home has an airbrush. That's why I want to show it like this. And you see the cocoa butter in the other molds here already starts to set. My room is about 18 degree cold. It's winter in Denmark, but I'm sweating actually. I think it's warm. So the cocoa butter sets quite fast, which is good. I like that. So now I actually already, I will start the second layer. First layer is done. My brush, the cocoa butter starts to set because it's tempered very well. You can see it here as well. Keep in mind an airbrush will give you a much more even layer and a much thinner layer as well. Take off the cocoa butter and then I will paint one more time. I mean, it's not really necessary. It will look beautiful anyway. Well, it will look like this. The idea is to put half of the mold. You will, I will put white chocolate. And the other half, I will pipe white chocolate. And when I take it off the mold, hopefully there will be holes inside because I pipe. And between, you know, the strings where I pipe, there will be no chocolate, so there shouldn't be cocoa butter. So you would be able to look inside the heart. That's the idea. Well, I should have known better. You see the layer of the cocoa butter is far too thick. Uh, then that will work well. You will see. But I should have known better. I wait for this to crystallize and then I will put tempered chocolate inside. Keep in mind, my idea is to make four hearts where the top part is only half a heart. Uh, but my layer of cocoa butter is too thick, so it doesn't really work out. So I find a solution for that. Keep watching. Scrape. Satisfying with this. Normally, when you spray your cocoa butter with a spray gun, the layer is very, very thin. 
But because I used a brush, the layer of cocoa butter was too thick and you know, the holes never became holes. So I just got a chocolate shell, uh, which looked like a heart. And uh, that's what's happening here. I, uh, I pipe chocolate inside the, the cocoa butter inside that heart. But when I take it out, it's a fully heart. And that was not the idea. So I will cut the heart in pieces and then I will somehow recreate the heart again. So I decided to temper some dark chocolate as well. Um, it's because I would like to have uh, the shell, the bottom layer, a little bit thicker. It's very thin and it's gonna be difficult to assemble those two shells. So I will make it a little bit thicker and I will do it by putting a dark layer as well. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna taste good. White chocolate, dark chocolate, the the, the caramel fudge. Uh, I think my girlfriend will love me for this. Chocolate is tempered. Slightly heat the surface. Fill them up. Beautiful. Only want a thin layer, remember? Guys, we're back. Look here. And as you can see, only a few holes inside the uh, heart. And that was not the idea. I wanted a lot more of these holes. So I will find a different solution. Okay, so I will do something else. So I take these hearts, take them out. Take them out here. Putting, put them on my chopping board. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that noise. Look, I will cut it through. That's yeah, crazy. You will see. Normally this te technique is done a little bit different, but you know, there's many ways to do this. Now I found this way. So I can even break it off. Okay, now I have these pieces, beautiful pieces of chocolate. And now I will place these pieces, these pieces here, back into the mold where they belong. Wow, perfect. See? Back into the mold. They fit perfectly. See? Nice. Okay. Here we go. Make sure they're tight. That's it. That's it. Those ones? I don't use them. Well, I could. I could actually. Could, could do something different. Okay, another idea. You see, oh, I'm full of good ideas here. Now we'll cut another piece. And two of them, I will make a... Two of them, I make different designs. So I cut a little bit more off here. Do you get the idea? I place this back into the cavity. Make sure, look. It's time to glue the chocolate uh, shells together. 
First I heat with a heating gun very slightly the shells and then I use tempered white chocolate to glue them together. And again, the idea is that it's possible to look inside the hearts. So in some of them, I will leave a hole. I hope it's going to be pretty. And well, it's a new technique and I hope you like it. I know this must look a little bit crazy to you, but I learned this technique from Louis Amado. Uh, you should look him up on the internet. This guy is brilliant and so creative. So I used this technique uh, because I learned it in his class. So if you have the money, you should take his class as well. into the fridge for about 20 minutes and then you will see the results. Here are the fudge hearts after about two hours on the kitchen table at 20 degree. You can also just put them in the fridge and then they will set much, much faster. I don't even think you need to whisk this mass uh, at all. You can just fill it inside the hearts and use it like it is. See how beautiful those hearts are? Very easy to do and very tasty. I bought these uh, crispy pearls in different tastes and colors and I will put them inside the hearts as well. As you can see, I took the shells uh, out of the mold already. I don't want to show you the result yet. We still need to assemble them. Now I fill them with candies. This plate is just a uh, 60 degree warm, put some cooling spray on my finger and then I will try to put this on here, melt it and then sorry and then my dog started barking outside. Uh, the idea is to melt the hearts on an even surface. I use this metal plate, I put it in the oven at 60 degree and then I glue it on top of the heart, which is filled. I need to work quite fast. If I'm not fast enough, the chocolate simply will not stick to the other half. As you can imagine, it is nearly impossible not to put a fingerprint or something on top of your hearts. Uh, very, very difficult to work with uh, chocolate when you stick something together. But I hope you liked the video, I hope you will be back for more and I hope you hit the subscribe button. See you soon. Bye bye.